Welcome back to Coop de Grill. We're gonna cook leftover pork sandwiches today. Uh, we're gonna do Philly cheesesteak sandwich with smoked pulled pork. These things are gonna be freaking awesome. I had a couple of them for lunch uh, while I was at work this week. You guys are gonna love this, check it out. But first we gotta get a beer out of the cooler. Man, oh man, we got a few left from last weekend. I tell you what, this honey one looks delicious. <clears throat> it's got a picture of a goat and it's a honey amber. These things are really good. Uh, I had a couple of them last weekend, I, th I think. <laughs> well, they're really good if you don't remember. <laughs> it, was a, it was a long weekend. Uh, we're going to have one of these to stay hydrated because that is important. Hydration is key. So what we've got here are ciabatta buns. We're going to use these. Uh, as long as you got a hearty bun, you want something that's got some, so I've got some uh, strength to it. And make you sure you pre-cut them. Pre-cut. Yeah, we've got everything kind of prepped here as much as we could beforehand. Uh, we're going to use some Hellman's mayo instead of butter on the buns. That's what that's for. We've got some of our Boar's Night Out White Lightning. That's going to be for our vegetables. I've got a container and a half of our leftover pulled pork from the party. We've got a package of au jus gravy we're going to make up on the Blackstone. And we've got our mixed peppers. Peppers, oh, onions, and mushrooms. Peppers, onions, and mushrooms. And these are going to go with all that pork. These are going to cook down quite a bit. Wow. I can smell that onion. Doesn't it smell good? I love oh, red onions. This is going to be awesome. The whole thing is going to be just great. So we're going to start out with the au jus because that's going to take the longest. The directions say... Place that over heat, gradually into the mixture. So our gravy mix is on a medium high heat. We're gonna leave that over here off on this side. We've got our avocado oil spray. This, this stuff came from uh, Costco. This is really cool. I really like the spray. Next thing we're gonna put on here, It's our vegetables. Ooh, yeah. That looks so good. It smells so good. A little bit of double garlic butter seasoning. Just a tad. <laughs> <clears throat> no comment. Since I put the avocado oil down, I don't really need to add a whole lot of butter. But I am going to add just a little bit. <laughs> but I am going to add a whole lot of butter. That's what I thought that's you were going to that, say. That's how that <laughs> translated, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm still going to add all the butter. <laughs> I don't get too healthy around here. No. We're doing vegetables. We can't have too much health food. <laughs> now, for this, do you have to put it under your fancy lid to make it cook? Or will this saute nice like this? This will saute nice like this. It says to stir the gravy. Keep stirring it. Do you want me to go stir your gravy? I've stirred my gravy. Oh. Uh, you want to keep it on here till it comes to a boil. Not entirely sure how long that's going to take. I do know that if you watch it, it'll never boil. That's true. Yeah, that's science. Mm. Coop the grill science. Can't argue with science. You can't argue with science. So for all of you out there in YouTube land who haven't tried a Malibu Splash, they're surprisingly good. I've tried pineapple, passion fruit, and strawberry. All very good. No fake colors. Just saying. And that is a seal of approval from wife to grill. Well, your au jus is sounding good. Yes, we've been working on its tone. Oh, man, oh, man, are these looking good. All right, we're going to put these off. On what? On low. I turn that all the way down low, and I'm putting it over here just for a little bit. What you're really looking to do is just break this up, you know, after it's been cooled 
everything kind of sticks back together. So you want to get it broken back up so it's still a, back to the shredded that you had it. We'll grab some of this au jus. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Yeah. You're just reintroducing some moisture back into that meat. Add a little bit more au jus to this. I feel like I should say bless you every time you say that. You're welcome. Oh. Au jus. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Mm. How juicy that is. That looks That's amazing. what you're looking for. Oh, man. All right. Now that you got that all heated up, juiced up, loosed up, add this to this. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to grease this up oh. with a little bit more of this. Let that drain down. Wow. Right? That looks fantastic. Yeah. Mr. Grill is very skeptical about how these are going to turn out with the mail. But I'm telling you what. So we do the mail, spread it out. We're going to do right. one with the butter. All right. We're going to give you one of each then. Yeah. Let me compare and contrast. I think that's really the best plan here. Probably. Mm. Did you see that? You hear squeaking. I do. That's what it oh. is. <laughs> the crazy bow squeaking. <laughs> So happy with that toy. Oh yeah, look at how brown that is. That's fantastic. So now you got this on here. I'm gonna go whoo and bam. Grab a Swiss. Swiss on the bun. Top on the bun. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That is going to be a fantastic oh my goodness. pulled pork sandwich. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. And there you go. That is how we make pulled pork Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Uh, we got the ciabatta buns. We got all the stuff. You got to look at this plate. This is all the leftovers. We're going to probably freeze some of this. Uh, we'll have some sandwiches tomorrow morning for breakfast. Maybe I'll make some um, stuffed hash browns. <laughs> with this in the morning oh my gosh i'm definitely eating good this weekend thank you guys for joining us today making pulled pork philly sandwiches don't forget to like and subscribe to the page drop a comment yeah drop a comment if there's anything that you'd like to see me cook <laughs> golly oh it looks like you have a tail <laughs> <laughs> Bo's tail was wagging right behind you. Yeah. Never mind. Here today. Here, wait, do that again. Come with me? No. Okay. Is it on now? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you're not with me? No, now I'm for <laughs> real. Right. I was right about that, honey amber. Delicious. Freaking delicious. Yeah. Well, it's Earth Rider, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Earth Rider Brewing Company in Superior, Wisconsin. Do you want me to pause it while you do that? Hold this. You need someone to lick this? Oh, oh. Okay. On low. I turn that all the way down low and I'm putting it over here just for a little bit. <laughs> just a tip for a for minute. A minute. <laughs> You're just reintroducing some moisture back into that meat. Stop Who it. Who doesn't like moist meat?
<laughs> Philly pork pulled 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 my pork sandwich. Oh my goodness. Pulled pork sandwich. Drop a comment. Yeah. Drop a comment if there's anything that you'd like to see me cook or if there's a different way of doing things. No. Yeah. Do it my way. <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying. It's pretty freaking good. Um <laughs>